Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Docker course video series presented by Narendra from Do It Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see introduction to Docker. So what is Docker? See, uh, let me start that. What is Docker? See, I am going with very simple definition. See, in a nutshell, right, a Docker is nothing but a computer program or a software program that performs operating system level virtualization. That means whenever if you are running two applications using Docker, then both two applications, they are isolated. They feel that they are running on different operating system. That will be provided by the Docker. So let me take simple example. Suppose you are running two applications right in normal uh, server in, on your server directly if you are running two applications just assume that application 1 and application 2 and you are running on the top of your local system or any server one server you are running any operating system let me take suppose Linux just assume that these two applications require temp folder then we know that in Linux you are having temp folder under root okay now this application stores something some temporary data will store in this temp location this application also store in temporary location this temp folder my requirement is i want to provide two temp folders i mean separately for application one temp folder is separate for application two temp folder separate so in the normal conventional way you are unable to provide that because on operating system there is only one temp folder right root temp so in order to provide a two temp folder normal i mean conventional way it is not possible then how you can do that nothing is there if you go with the docker right suppose if you install application one using docker application two also suppose using docker now whenever if you install if you deploy your application using docker then docker will provide virtually one operating system for that actually that is your base operating system only but your application will feel that there is a separate operating operating system for this application that means there is one temp folder virtually it is there for application 2 also suppose if you deploy your application to using docker okay for this application 2 also docker will provide different operating system then there is one more temp folder right now here your docker will first of all it is isolating these two applications okay now that will be provided by using docker so simply operating system level virtualization whenever if you are running two applications on your operating system and if you deploy those two applications using docker then each application will feel that I am separating on different ways. I am separating on different ways. That means virtually they are separated. Okay. So that concept is provided by the Docker. It's like normal VMware only, but there is a small difference. We will see that. Okay. So this concept is also known as containerization. Okay. Now, Docker is used to deploy the applications inside containers. Okay, as of now, don't worry about containers. We will see in later videos exactly what is container, how it will work. So, if we deploy the applications using Docker, then each application is isolated from your operating system. Right? Each application will feel that simply, I am running on different OS. I am the only one application on running my operating system. So that thing will provide by Docker. Okay. So that means Docker provides virtually separate memory, CPU utilization and network resources. Of course, they are from your original operating system only, but virtually they are separated. So for each and every application, it's required some memory, some CPU utilization, some networking ports, right? Everything will provide it to that application by your Docker. Okay, so simply it's like how it is, it's like a VMware concept, but there is a small difference. 
let me show that difference so suppose if you go with we are vmware so generally uh, when we will use vmware whenever if you feel to use some different operating systems right then you will take first your infrastructure that means like hardware on the on the top of that you will deploy you will uh, go with any operating system it may be windows or linux whatever it may be then on the top of your original operating system or your host operating system you will go with hypervisor software like vmware or oracle box right oracle vmware or vmware now here you are having vmware right this is nothing but like just simply as you vmware on the top of vmware you can create any number of operating systems now each and every operating system that will reserve some hardware and ram from this infrastructure only now you are dividing your hardware to this operating system this operating system and for this operating system you shared your hardware right that memory that hardware that cpu everything is shared by this different operating systems now whatever you deployed application on this guest os first operating system that is different right on the top of this you are having one application so completely this is like one operating system on that you deployed one application the same way second operating system third operating system okay virtually they are different operating systems actually you deployed all those operating system on the top of vmware right now if you come to your uh, like uh, your docker then how it will be what is the architecture for that right just observe that you are having your infrastructure and that you are having your host operating system then first you have to deploy you have to install your docker engine that is like docker software now if you after installing this docker engine suppose just assume you deployed three applications for each and every applications we know that we require some uh, directories or bin folders libraries everything right so if you deploy your application using docker then each application feels that i am running on different operating system okay now if you observe here okay in this in in this architecture right after deploying your docker engine you are uh, deploying the applications you can deploy any number of applications they are actually containers okay each and every application right they will feel that this docker is providing one operating system for that okay but for your host operating system your original operating system docker is a one process but application feels that that is a one operating system likewise if you are having any number of applications each and every application feels that i am running on different ways so that each and every application is isolated okay so simply docker is a process for our operating system but it is a operating system for applications and each and every application feels that that application is running on different operating system that thing is provided by the docker so now if you compare these two vmware and uh, your docker architecture right you don't have vmware concept here instead of see in vmware you are deploying your different operating systems but here you no need to deploy different operating system docker itself create that operating system basically docker is a lightweight uh, like operating system it's a it's a linux kernel okay so that is a simple introduction about your docker guys okay thank you for which watching this video if you have any queries you can post as comments or you can also drop a mail this do with python at the top gmail.com you do subscribe my channel so that uh, you will notify whenever we post some new videos okay bye